Welcome to Construct Tech TV, and I'm Peggy Smedley. All year, we have been taking you inside smart cities and how they are built, from Pittsburgh all the way to San Diego. So for today's show, we're going to take a quick break from looking at one specific city, and instead, we're going to have an entire episode look at the future of construction. The show will focus on how construction is changing from commercial all the way to residential and from the office to the job site. On this segment of the show, I will give you my personal insights. So, but first, let me paint a picture for you just for a minute. You're at the job site. A machine is humming along next to you while it's laying bricks. Another is flying overhead, capturing data about what is happening on the job site. The connected tool in your hand is sending data to the back office about its whereabouts. At the same time, a 3D printer is producing components for your job. This is the job site I want you to imagine. I want you to visualize in your mind's eye this job site as we continue to talk throughout this entire episode. The good news is all this technology is actually here today. We have been talking about robotics, drones, and even 3D printing for years. And from what I can see, this isn't going to change anytime soon. Zion Market Research suggests digital transformation will continue to grow more than 19% between 2016 and 2021. In construction, we will see more automation at the job site, and data will continue to attain exponential growth. We hear time and time again that this will help with collaboration and even decision making, and that is certainly true. But there is bad news. There are still some very real hurdles preventing us from getting there. The first is the lack of interoperability. Drones need to be able to talk to your enterprise system and integrate all the data from the back office processes. We need them to churn out the information you need when you need it. And we are witnessing some of these hurdles actually today. Another challenge is the lack of skilled labor in our construction industry. And I'm going to be very candid here. It's our responsibility as an industry to encourage the next generation to be excited about construction. And I would actually argue that it all starts with technology. There are two key ways technology can help. First, it can help make construction look cool. Skilled workers become more attractive when there are joysticks, drones, VR, AR, all of these things involved. And second, technology can actually help employees be more efficient on the job. We need technology more than ever before. So that's my two cents for today. The technology is here. The data is being generated at rates faster than ever before, but it's harder to implement and even manage. And that's precisely where we need to start. That's the future of construction.